Hey, Bill here with your Cody out to recreation. So, I thought I'd take you out here today and we'd make us a little bit of coffee. And that's what we're going to do. And you've probably seen these percolators a bunch of times. They're a three-part deal. You have your pot and you have your hopper and your stem. Now, this stem is hollow. And what it does is it allows the water to come up through here through the hopper and make your coffee. So after you roast your coffee, you roast your coffee beans, you've got about three months before they're no good anymore. After you grind your coffee, you have about 13 hours. So we're gonna get our grounds, we're gonna put it into the hopper here, okay? When you first dump them into the hopper, come on in here, camera guy, when, when you first dump them into the hopper, they're gonna be even on one side. And so here's a little trick for you. When you put it in here, Grab the stem of the hopper and just go like that back and forth, back and forth. I don't know if you can see that or not, back and forth. And what that does is that evens out your grounds. Now also when you fill your coffee pot, you want it to be two fingers from where the spout starts. And that's all the water you need. A lot of times people put too much water and too much coffee in these. Then you put your dispensing screen right over the top. Slip that right over the top, put your lid on few minutes here we'll have some coffee what I'm gonna do is uh, let's cut the cut the camera off for a while and I'll get back with you once it starts to boil okay so what's gonna happen is as the water boiled it's gonna come through this little tube and force that hot water over the over the over the uh, the dispensing cone there see it I don't know if you can see that coming up or not can you zoom in on that I want to get some of that water popping up out of there and so this little process here will go on for approximately three minutes of this water being forced up through the cone and over the dispensing cover. And uh, that's what makes your coffee. Can you see that popping up out of there? And so we'll let that continue for about three minutes and uh, bing, bang, bang, we'll have some coffee. So stick with me, this is gonna get pretty good. So there's 21 different chemical compounds in coffee. Um, the guys at the burn reactor, when they were first firing it up, they said, what can we put in here? What, what, what atom can we split? They chose the mighty coffee bean. And after doing that, they actually discovered there's much more than 21 chemical compounds in coffee. So once we get it done, we've got it all boiled up. We're gonna take our, our coffee making cone out of here, what's known as the hopper. And then here's a little trick for you. Once you have your coffee all boiled up, take a splash of cold water, not a lot, but just a little tiny splash like that, bling. Little splash of cold water into the coffee. What that does, it forces all the grounds that may have escaped from there to settle to the bottom, and it'll give you a nice, a nice smooth cup of coffee. So we're gonna pour that out now. Now, I don't know if you have Smell-O-Vision on YouTube, but I'm gonna tell you what. That is one good cup of coffee. Until the next time I see you, this is Bill with Jacoti Outdoor Recreation. You stay safe, stay warm, stay free. Never forget to enjoy a hot cup of coffee in the field.